okay so let's take a look at how you can set up the embed card error devc plus plus so basically this is one of the free ids from ember card error there are two versions one standalone devc plus plus and the one offered by ember card error so the compiler used in either one of those makes the difference so if i type in devc plus plus i will get to original site where you will be finding the version 5 and 6 and basically it will make use of your genu compiler underneath whereas if you check the ember card arrow they are making use of their own c++ compiler and you can also find what's included below right so as you can see they also have gcc along with their own compiler tools like linkers etc and other extension right so they are allowing you to download that once you download you're gonna have to extract and it should be looking like this so let's take a look at the installer here do note that uh, it will install its own gcc version so if there is any conflict you will have to watch for that so i will say agree to most things right so here we will try and reduce the path right considering this is very long path i will just reduce the dash slash underscore etc right click install and once everything is installed will be able to easily add things to the path right so as you can see apart from that it is supported on win 7 to win 10 i'm using win 11 in near future it could be win 12 14 and so on most likely they will be supported if you are downloading ember card and origin i'm not sure about the original dev c++ the development is like you know sinusoidal it can go up and down right so coming back to the tool you will find that you have your installation in the process right so all the libraries and the files being installed right all the tools will be installed and it will tell you to open the setup now if i click finish you will be able to open the application right so after this what we can do is we can test out one of the c++ program here you can see you can choose your language then you choose your font as well you can pick from all the available options here i will keep things same for now right if you want you can choose between all the theme as well and so it all depends on what you choose i will go with flat ui click next you can also see all configurations worked now it will open the window right as you can see this is the window for new dev c++ version is 6.3 now let's say if i want to create a basic c++ program right so what i will do click new document let's try and save this by typing something let's say hello world and save it and let's see within one of the places i will just use say hello hello.cpp i will click save right okay so we just added the code here if you want to change this to something let's see i will try and type my name and you can save this and let me 
remove the initial right so i added hash over there for some reason i was still in the typical python code and so i forgot that you need to use forward slash to use the comment here or you can use forward slash and then your star here symbol right so now that we have comments separately from the code let's see if i can execute this so if i execute this i will have to see compile and run and there you go you get the output as well as it will show you that your option of holding the command prompt in previous one of the compilers usually output was just showing and immediately the window was closing because we make use of some of the exit commands so right now we don't have any such we just have return zero and we managed to compile our hello world code as well so we installed mcadero dev c++ and we also managed to show our one of the c++ code that prints out hello world right so i hope you get the idea of how to set up the embarkad arrows dfc plus plus how to execute one of the simple hello world code and get the output